Hello everyone. I want to share with you today some things as it relates to fear and the presence of God. Psalms 27 1 says this, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Isaiah 41, 13 and 14 says, For I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear, I will help you. Do not be afraid, for I myself will help you, declares the Lord your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Psalms 118, 6 and 7 says, The Lord is with me, I will not be afraid. The Lord is with me, he is my helper. Psalm 34 and 4 says, I prayed to the Lord and he answered me. He freed me from all my fears. Psalms 56 and 3 says, When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. Talking of God. And then Jesus said in John 14, 27, Peace is what I leave with you. It is my own peace that I give to you. I do not give it as the world does. Do not be worried or upset. Do not be afraid. And then we know in 1 John 4, 18, it says, There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out all fear. Or how about this? Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Or how about Psalm 94, 19? When anxiety was great within me, your consolation brought joy to my soul. Today is a day in which many may be feeling overwhelmed, stressed, anxious as a result of the current virus scare, the loss of work, a health scare, social distancing, or any number of other things. But know this, when we are in our moments of, of greatest fear, God's love is available. His presence is tangible. He desires to hold you, to encourage you, to keep you safe. I would encourage you that in these times, probably more than any other time in your life, now is when you should be writing out the faithful promises of God on slips of paper, taping them to the windows of your home, the bathroom mirror, on your television, your computer, your refrigerator, anywhere that you are currently frequenting at an often amount of time to remind yourself that you are not alone and that Christ desires to be with you, helping you, comforting you as you navigate this current portion of the journey known as life. The last scriptural reminder I would give you is found in Revelations chapter 3, Verse 20, Jesus says, Behold, I am standing at the door knocking. If your heart is open to my voice and you will open the door within, I will come in to you and feast with you and you will feast with me. My challenge for you, the question for you, is will you let him come in today? We also want to be a help to you in any way that we can and would welcome you to feel free to text WELCOME to 414-253-8080 that we might be able to connect with you and be an encouragement to you. Today is also the day we sign up again for our 24-7 prayer initiative for next week. Please take this opportunity to go to parkwayoc.com to select your prayer slots for the coming week. You can also text Pray 30, again, to that same number, 414-253-8080, and you will be able to sign up there, selecting the various times that you would want to join with us in prayer in the coming week. Remember, you are not alone. 
You do not have to go through this time by yourself. Be encouraged with the understanding that the God of everything loves you. He cares about you. And he stands waiting for you to come to him, to open the door of your life and allow him to come in, to sit down, and to bring comfort and peace to where otherwise there might be trouble, anxiety, stress, and discomfort. God loves you. We love you. And we're here to walk through this with you. God bless you and be encouraged knowing that God is for you today.